Hey there, New Day family and friends. It's Pastor Adam with this week's New Day News. We hope you're doing well. Uh, we just pray that God's presence surrounds you right now as you are wherever you are watching this. Uh, we just are so thankful for you. We're so thankful that you're part of the family. And uh, we just like to kick off with some news and stuff. We got a whole bunch of things to talk about, so I'm going to try and go as fast as I can. Keep it short and sweet, okay? Here we go. So we have been watching The Chosen series on Friday nights. Uh, tonight is actually Friday night. We are going to be doing uh, episode two tonight. If you want to jump in next week, uh, you can jump in next week and take part in episode three of season one of The Chosen together. Uh, this is happening right after JGen from 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. So you are invited. Uh, if you want to bring some snacks to munch on, you can bring some snacks. Uh, wear something cozy and comfortable and just come and hang out and, and watch The Chosen. And uh, we're doing that together at New Day, Friday nights. So come be a part of that. And then uh, my cheat sheet here, we've got our March Missions teams. Uh, they are in full swing right now. We've got Pastor Christopher and the team down in Haiti. And then we've got Brad and Barb Pond who are uh, with a couple of their kids down at the down at the orphanage in Guatemala that they are a part of. And we just want to pray for them right now, wherever you're at. Uh, we just thank you, God, for everything that you're doing through those teams. We just join uh, our hearts in prayer right now to pray for protection, to pray for your peace, to pray for safety. Uh, Lord, to pray for powerful divine encounters. I thank you for the plans that you have for each one of these teams of people from New Day, wherever they are, uh, doing whatever they're doing, that you've got plans and purposes for them. So we just pray your blessing on them and on the people they meet. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah, so just a reminder, uh, keep praying for our keep praying for our missions teams as they're out, as they're out being the hands and feet of Jesus in this crazy world that we live in. So that's it for that. And then uh, Faith Recovery and Music is going to meet this next Thursday, March 18th at 6 p.m. You can come and have some uh, some great pizza together. Then 6.30 p.m. we've got uh, worship and a message with Timothy Price and, and everybody that's a part of putting on the Faith Recovery and Music. Uh, March 18th, 6 p.m. And then starting in the month of April, they will be meeting every Thursday night. So if you are if you are looking for a, a family that you can walk out your recovery with, uh, faith recovery music is amazing. Timothy is a uh, he, he's got a calling and, and a heart and a mantle as a father to those who are suffering uh, or to those who are uh, who are walking out uh, the lifestyles and the, the addictions and different things. So come be a part of that. Marriage rocks. Uh, I just it's just fun saying that because marriage does rock and uh, Lindsay and Sarah Jacobson have been hosting marriage rocks uh, marriage groups for the last few weeks now uh, they've been meeting on the first and third Sunday evenings and their next meeting is going to be March 21st at 7 p.m. so come if you have a marriage that that you just want to you want to sew into, maybe your marriage is in a little bit of a tough spot. Maybe it's not in a tough spot. It doesn't. Your marriage doesn't have to be on the rocks to be a part of marriage on the rock, because uh, it's all about strengthening. It's all about community, and it's all about seeing uh, seeing our marriages strengthened and impacted through Jesus. So come be a part of that. Uh, next one is March twenty first, seven p.m. And then uh, create your own dream board. This is just going to be so much fun. Uh, you know, if you're a person who likes to, to plan and to dream, maybe you don't even like to plan and dream. Uh, and maybe that's something that's hard for you, but you feel that nudge and you feel like, you know what, that's something I want to challenge myself with. You can come uh, on th Thursday night, March 25th at, uh, I believe, 6.30 p.m. And you can uh, create your own dream board. And so this is something where... Uh, the dreams and the visions that you have that God's put in your heart, uh, and then also uh, just praying and seeking Him for fresh things and fresh ideas. Uh, getting your dream board put together, getting a plan put together to see the dreams that God's given you become reality. And uh, the cost is five dollars. That covers your material, your board, everything that you need, all the all the creative supplies in order to do it. And uh, all you got to do is just bring yourself to our dream board creation festival event. Uh, circus thing right here new day church yeah so there's that and then uh daylight savings time reminder hey we want to send out a reminder to you guys 
Don't forget to make sure that your clocks are going to change over when the time changes on Saturday night, uh, in between Saturday and Sunday morning, uh, so that you're not so that you're not uh, earlier for church. I guess you'd be late for church because would you be early? We lose an hour. That's all I know is we lose an hour. I, I can't do the math on the top of my head right now, but. Uh, Make sure that your clock's going to change ahead because it's daylight savings this weekend and you don't want to be caught out on that one. It's embarrassing. And I would not know anything about why that's embarrassing at all. Uh, March 28th. We've got some big news coming up about Sunday, March 28th. And I don't know if you know what it is or not, but if you were at the annual meeting this last week, you will know that we are going to be starting uh, back to having two services, uh, two Sunday morning services, an 8.30 a.m. service and a 10.30 a.m. service. Uh, you can come and be a part of what God is doing and uh, we're just making space for him to move and we need more space for all of us to meet when he's moving. So we're going to be going to two services and, uh, and just really creating, creating the time to, to meet with him and, and to let him be God and, and uh, know that he has something special and know that he has a word of breakthrough for each time that we gather. So come be a part of that. Uh, I always say come be a part of that. That might be a thing. Anyway, uh, we'll see you on Sunday, March 28th uh, for either the 8.30 service or the 10.30 service. So, All right, that's it, family. That's all I've got. Those are the news and the announcements. Uh, fun six and a half minutes. And uh, we hope that you have an amazing week. We hope the, that the, the love of Christ just shines on you and that he radiates through you. You need the Holy Spirit in order to make a difference in this world. Otherwise... Uh, otherwise, you're, you're, you're just doing the things the Boy Scouts can do. So uh, grab, grab a hold of the Holy Spirit and let the Lord just shake the world through you. So we love you. We hope to see you at, uh, at some of the events that we've got coming up. And we just wish you the best. So have fun.